Hitting 500 error on Django with debug equals false even with allowed underscore hosts equals. I am getting 500 errors on every page I try to go with. The only thing that I'm changing is debug to false. Here is my config. Literally every answer I've seen says just set your allowed underscore hosts to, as you can see I've done that and still no dice. I checked the docs and they are pretty sparse on what else debug mode affects there is a section of the docs that says. As a security measure, Django will not include settings that might be sensitive, such as secret underscore key. Specifically, it will exclude any setting whose name includes any of the following, API key pass secret signature token. This URL. The only thing I can think of is that the secret underscore key is not being picked up, but if so how do you do this in production? Edit, some people have been asking me to turn debug mode to true to get the trace back. The problem is, when I set it to true I don't get the 500 error, it's only when debug equals false. So, the issue was related to a single icon not loading, the path was off but due to the way Django handles static files, which is honestly dumb, when debug equals true I didn't catch it, and when debug equals false there was no traceback. A neat trick I learned was you can force Django to give you the logging information you need by attaching an explicit logger in your main settings.py like so. So three things I learned in my six hours of debugging you are in my situation. Set debug equals false right away in your development cycle. It will force you to configure collect static properly. Heroku's documentation for getting your app set up lies about how to configure white noise properly. So here is the real configuration. You have to subclass white noise's default configuration locally to remove Django's built-in manifest underscore strict attribute. Got that from here, this URL. I solved mine by Put debug equals true. Run dollar python manage dot pi collect static. Any error in your static files will appear in your terminal if there is any. Try solving that error before you proceed. Go into your main project slash settings dot pi and instead of making a general allowed host by using. Replace it with your local host link e.g. 127.0. 0.1. Go into your browser's history and delete recent cookies and cache. Refresh your projects and that's all. Adding an answer because this stumped me for a while, and a lot of answers, whilst they do apply to collect your static files the server error 500 can also occur if you have any file slash images, slash CSS slash J's reference, in HTML that isn't actually present in your project directory. For example if you reference, link href equals, percent static app slash CSS, slash new style dot CSS percent, rel equals style sheet slash, and that file does not exist then you'll get this error. 
Best way to check which files aren't actually present is to run in your local environment python manage.py run server and load pages to see where there is a 404 error in the terminal. It will probably look like this. Get dot css http slash one dot one inch four or four one eight seven six then you can omit the reference to this file if not needed or locate where to add it in adding an answer since this just took me a couple hours to debug and this will maybe save someone else from the same problem I was only getting server error 500 on certain admin pages. Some models would work fine, others didn't. I suspected a third-party module at that point. This problem showed up for me because I'm using Django nested inline and there was a bug in the version installed via pip that couldn't locate a copy of jQuery that is necessary to modify the admin pages to handle the nested inlines. This bug was fixed so I needed to remove the version I was using and then install the fixed version directly from GitHub, 